Hi, it's Chef and Builder Janie Pendleton. We're back to show you how I juice my cherries, okay? The jams we've made for the year. Now, if we wanna make jellies or juices, uh, now's the time to break out the steam juicer and do that. No more using jelly bags will be necessary to make jelly. Uh, you can steam your juice, it comes out sterile, and this is the easiest way to do it, and it's a, I think it's fun. Now, cherries, a lot of people won't uh, de-stem them, but I do. I just go ahead and take that extra time, and I take off the stems. I take a little bit of Ajax with bleach alternative in my hand like this, some hot water, and I rub that all over the cherries. I get them a little bit soapy. Again, I'm rinsing on really hot water and I'm just checking the fruit. Making sure I have no mold or no bad spots or anything like that. Watch my how to uh, use your juicer video uh, for making the grape juice before you uh, watch this. And that way you get all the tips, hints and tricks, okay? Be sure and follow your steamer directions. And if it calls, the recipe calls for lemon juice, or sugar, be sure and add that in, okay? Now my grapes were so sweet, I didn't have to add any sugar, but I did at the very end add a little sugar just to completely draw out all the fluids. And I'll probably do that here on the cherry juice uh, as well. I'll get the first three quarts and I will uh, only add sugar to the last quart and then I'll mark it that I added sugar and I'll be the one to drink that one. But these are so sweet. I always take a sample of my fruit, bite into it, and see how tart or bitter it is. So that way I'll know uh, what I'm adding. All right, now I'm gonna finish doing this and I should have at least eight quarts of produce for my size of steamer basket. We'll be right back. Make sure I added my vinegar here. Just a little bit, then not much. We want a quarter of an inch headspace. That's a quarter of an inch headspace. Roll them all over the kitchen. Just kind of pull this back out just gently like that. There we go. Um, I have about another three quarts, maybe two to three quarts of uh, cherries left to stem, and we'll get those in here. We're going to go ahead and get those in there. If you see any stems or anything, pull them out. Because they'll give a bitter taste to, to your juice off. Now remember, just like the last jar, we fill up a sterile jar with juice and we pour it back in the top just like this and then we run it back through. That sterilizes the spigot, all right? So the first uh, pint to quart of juice, this is a one and a half pint actually, um, you pour it back in and get that to flow back through here. That, that helps clean the spigot, all right? Don't forget that step. We want that spigot nice and clean. Now I've been using this for grape juice all day, but I've washed it, cleaned it, made sure no pulp was stuck in here. And so we have to do that again with each step, with each different fruit. With each batch, we clean this all up with each batch. Don't skip that. Now I'm gonna give you a little hint and a little tip. What's left in the bottom, I leave out because I'm going to drink this. Oh wow. That's good, just like that right there. Now of course I'm going to add some water to that because that's concentrated, but that's delicious. It's nice color, nice clarity. That will make really good jelly. Or just straight up juice. But remember, this is concentrated. So for every jar of juice we get, It'll be one part juice to one to two parts of water, filtered water or bottled water, okay? Filtered water or bar bottled water. So I water bath can my quarts and my one and a half pints for 30 minutes and pints will be 25 minutes. Okay. I felt that the cherries when I tasted them were a little tart. So I'm gonna go ahead in the steamer basket and I'm gonna put in, oh, about a half a cup of sugar. Maybe just a little bit more here. Sweeten it up just a little bit. You do not have to do that. You do not have to, but these were pretty tart. 
Now remember, if you want more of a pulpy uh, juice, then when this is done, you can kind of mash these up just a little bit. If you want a clear juice for just juice or making jellies, now the steam will kind of come over the top of the sugar and kind of melt that right down in there. That'd be perfect. So the juice won't get all that sugar, but it will get some. It'll get a, it'll be enough to kind of help sweeten that down a little bit. Mmm, -mm, good. Now while the cherries are steaming and cooking down, then we have this really good grape pulp. And these are seedless grapes. So what you can do with this is put this in a blender or use a stick blender on it. Pour some of your grape juice back in here and juice it back up. And you can have some really good grape, uh, grape jam. I'm making grape jam. But I'm also going to throw my cherry pulp in here. And, um, and any other pulp that I make today. And I'm going to make a multi-mixed fruit um, jam. So, and you can give this to the chickens as well. The chickens love this stuff. Not wasting the pulp. I'm going to use everything that I can. Just going to sit it aside and kind of let it keep steaming and let it keep making its own uh, juice over here. Okay, put on your safety gloves because this gets hot. You use a little bit of the water that has the vinegar in it. Get your napkins kind of separated and ready. This is hot, so get your jar filled up. And if you have to, you might have to tip this a little bit. That's fine. You do just be extra careful. Okay, you guys have to do more than that. Let's give it a little tilt. There we go. Isn't that beautiful? Believe it or not, we're going to open the lid now. And we're going to pour it back in. What we did is we sterilized the spigot by running the first pint to quart of juice through it. So these are pints and a half, so that's fine. Now we're just going to let it run back through again. Here we go. We want a quarter inch head space. That's a quarter inch head space. And there we got it right there. Hot vinegar water. this out away from the stove so I can get the drips part right here cleaned up. Get the top of that really clean. We're going to work with this quickly. Good. Under tight. A little tighter than finger tight for the juice, okay? This is what I've learned from my past history and past mistakes. When you pick it up, pick it up by this glass shoulder and then put it over here into the water bath canner. Now I want you to see the color on that. Isn't that gorgeous? We'll leave the jars in the, in the hot water bath and just put some more water in here. All right, we'll be back in just a minute. There we go. Now I'm just pulling out a sample here so that I can taste it. And I'm going to let this cool off and I'm going to adjust the sugar of the cherry juice inside the steamer basket. I'll sprinkle some more sugar in there if I think it's still too tart. But I don't like to add sugar if I don't have to. These were more tart than they were sweet last year. So um, I did add about a half a cup of sugar and kind of layered that in into the cherries. And then the moisture just kind of came through the top of the cherries and then dripped the steam right back out down here to the juice. Now I'm going to taste test this with the sugar. Now still, that's only a half a cup. That's still about a cup and a half less than the recipe calls for. So, um, so we're just kind of getting this kind of cool, swirling this in here, adding a little air into here. I feel like a winemaker, and trust me, this is what the winemakers start with right here. It smells mm. good. That is really good. That's perfect. That doesn't need any more sugar at all. Now we're just going to sit here and we're going to look it up, see how much we got in here. Okay, we're going to let this go for about another, it looks like it's going to have to go for another hour. Sorry, I forgot to hit the record button on that last one. I just got one more one and a half pint in here. And you can see in here, I'm just, 
got the one inch water over the top and I'm going to leave in the empty jars so I can keep them sterile and it will keep the other jars from floating around inside the canner while it's processing. Now I've got enough left over of the cherry juice here to go ahead and fill up we'll see here hopefully fill up a pint jar gonna be close very very close okay, that's fine what we can do here is we can go ahead and we can add some sterile water and again I don't process this five or ten minutes I process this for 30 minutes and um, And 30 minutes, 25 to 30 minutes for quarts, depends on what you're canning. I do everything the same amount of time. That's a pint and a half in that, in quarts. Kept out a little bit for sampling. It tasted absolutely delicious, there we go. And I'll just put this right down inside here with, remember I told you juices, you wanna tighten the lid down a little bit more than finger tight on the juice. For some reason, that's the way that it works for me. It's the way that it works for me. A little bit tighter than finger tight. Now I'm gonna go ahead and process this pint the same amount of time as the one and a half pints. And that's fine. That's perfectly fine. I got a little bit too much water in here. I'm gonna take some out. And I've put my vinegar in here. So I can get keep my jars from getting cloudy. If I'm sounding a little tired, we'll just know I've been at this for almost uh, seven hours straight now, getting all my fruit pre uh, prepared and ready. And now I'm going to put your splash of vinegar in here. Keep your empty jars in here. That's fine. They can process through the water bath with your filled jars. That's fine. And when we get done, we're have a beautiful dark jars of cherry juice okay and when this gets bubbling that's when we start and we count this then you're going to turn that back off again the stove back off and it's going to continue to boil you know bubble in here until it calms down and then we'll let it sit in this bath for about five minutes after we turn off the heat that's how you water bath can unless it calls for it you have to leave your produce in here uh, another five minutes as it cools down and this is a glass top oven, so it takes it a little longer to cool down, but that's fine. I'd rather over process than under process, right? So, all right, I just threw the cherry pulp in here right on top of the grape pulp. And you can see with this lid on, it's making more juice. And so we'll be right back. Be sure and subscribe, hit the thumbs up button. Let us know that we're bringing you uh, stuff that you want to see. It lets me know that I'm bringing you um, items of interest put it that way okay and subscribe that way whenever I post a video or up videos you will be the first to get them all right now when you're cleaning your what we like to call the actual juice container that contains the juice the one with the cone in it right here then you'll want to turn your spigot on and let that water hot water flow through and now I'm gonna take the sterile water that was boiling this whole time underneath and I'm gonna put it through just like that right there that will help sterilize the spigot for the next round. I'll still do that first thing of juice through here. I'll still get that uh, ran through here. But I just want to make sure no pulp or nothing is stuck inside of that spigot. And I want that nice and clean from the last juice. And I'm, not, I'm trying not to touch the spigot on my, on my drain there. All right. This cherry juice, it really... Um, it was pretty concentrated there that last bit. I am cleaning everything up. Everything's getting cleaned up. You can put just a little bit of vinegar in here. Vinegar for everything. Let that sit and soak for a minute and get any calcium and water deposit spots off. Look at that, it's bringing it right off. A little soap will help too. 
I keep it clean between each use, and especially before I store it away. All right, and we'll do the same. And I already done this, but I did the same for the basket. And look how shiny that stayed. Just a little bit of vinegar and a little bit of this bleach alternative Ajax soap. I'll let that vinegar sit in there for a minute. I have such hard water. It just puts calcium on everything that I do. So that's how you maintain your steamer. My strawberry juice is done. I'm ready to make strawberry syrup. And I've also got the no tipping cherry juice coming out of the water bath canner. Look how dark and beautiful that is. This is why you want to label things because it starts all looking alike after a while. Keep these away from the ones that have already set up. I don't want to heat those back up. Beautiful. And then here's our pint of cherry juice down here. No tipping. Once you get the water off the top, you could just lightly do this right here, but you can see it absorbs pretty quickly. Do not touch or push down on these buttons or on the lids at all, okay? Careful, the water's hot. lightly touch it and there you go that way especially if this is going to the fair you don't want any kind of water mark water marks or water lines on this okay and there we have it the cherry juice made made two one and a half pint jars and one one pint jar so that's four pints all together four pints all right we're gonna let these cool they're going to taste terrific and I can always go back later and make jam or jelly or make other things with these other desserts with these so um, but this is a concentrated so you'll want to add some water to this a time with some ice until you get it the way that you want it and any of these things taste really good with either apple juice or pineapple juice so you can do some pineapple juice and kind of do some mixed berry flavors as well all right this is Chef and Builder Jamie Pendleton. Be sure and hit that subscribe button. We love you. We want to bring more of this to you. If you juice or have a steam juicer, let us know your favorite combination or even leave us a recipe below. We love you. Go with God. Thumbs up this video. Let us know that you like it. Blessings. Isn't that beautiful? Cherry juice is so good. In the back back there, that's my Midnight Beauty grapes off the arbor. That's grape juice back there. Mmm. -mm.